What's up everybody, it's YYC Maths here. Now in today's example, we're asked to find the directional derivative of the function f of xy is equal to 2xy minus 3y squared at the point 5 comma 5 and in the direction of the vector 4i plus 3j. So now whenever we're asked to find the directional derivative and we're given a function, a point, and a vector, there's essentially four steps that we need to follow in order to get us to the solution of the problem. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to find the gradient of the function. The second step that we're going to do is we're going to find the value of the gradient at the given point 5 comma 5. The third step is to find our unit vector u. And the fourth step is to find our, our directional derivative. So we're going to use this formula here. So we're basically going to dot product the results from step two and three together. And this will give us our directional derivative. Now, just a quick reminder, the gradient is a vector that's made up of all the partial derivatives of the function. So we have to find the partial derivative of f with respect to x and the partial derivative of f with respect to y. Well, with this in mind, let's begin step one. So we're given our function. We need to find the gradient. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the partial derivative of f with respect to x. Now, after differentiating our function with respect to x, we'll find that our result is 2y. Let's just put this to the side, repeat this step just with respect to y. After carrying out the operation, we'll find that our result is 2x minus 6y. So from this, we can conclude that our gradient is 2yi plus 2x minus 6yj. Well, let's move on to step two. So in step two, we just need to find the value of the gradient at the point 5 comma 5. This is the easy step. So we have our point, we just need to simply plug our point into our gradient, and that will give us 10i minus 20j. Now let's move on to step three. In step three, we need to find our unit vector u. Well, we're given a vector, and that vector is 4i plus 3j. Now to find the unit vector, we're essentially going to take our given vector, and then we're going to divide it by the norm of that vector. So after carrying out these operations, we'll find that our unit vector is equal to 4 over 5i plus 3 over 5j. Well, let's move on to the fourth and the final step. So we know that we have to dot product our vectors together that we found in step two and three. We have our gradient, we have our unit vector, so let's just simply dot product these together. To do that, we're just going to multiply our i's with our i's and our j's with our j's. So that'll give us 40 over 5 minus 60 over 5. Of course, that just simplifies to 8 minus 12, and 8 minus 12 is minus 4. So this right here is our final answer. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please smash that like button, comment, and subscribe. I wish you guys a beautiful day.